In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the PowerPoint linking feature. This feature is one of my favorites to use. I use these for classroom games when I'm reviewing with my students. I love to use this when I'm giving presentations so I can anticipate questions and be able to quickly link to a slide with the relevant information. And it's also great for organizing really long PowerPoint documents and creating a table of contents of sorts. First, I'm going to show you what I mean by linking, and then I'm going to show you how you can link in your own PowerPoints. So it's very quick, easy, and simple. This Jeopardy-esque template is available. If you just look at the link below, you can access this and walk through this with me if you'd like. Here I am on my second slide. You can fill in your individual topics at the top. There are up to five topics and five corresponding questions that have to do with that specific topic. When I do this game in my classroom, my students will select the topic that they would like and then the point value they would want associated with the question that I'm asking. So typically, as they increase in point value, they're going to increase um, in difficulty. So let me show you the linking. So for this option here, so topic one, 10 points. I want when I select this option to, for it to go directly to my question, topic one for 10 points. So I want this, these set of numbers to link to slide number three. So to do that, you're just going to select what you want to link. You're going to go up to the option insert, link, And here are your options. So usually when you think about linking, you think about hyperlinking. So that's this first option up here if you want it to go to an external website. But to link within your PowerPoint, you're going to select the place in this document. Here are all of my different slides. And so for that answer, I want it to hyperlink to slide three. Right, topic one, 10 points. Here's my topic one, 10 points. And then you can click OK. So I have already gone through and linked all of these different numbers to the corresponding PowerPoint slide. So if you get this free resource, that's already done for you, but I want to show you how to do it if you wanted to do your own game. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna to go to slideshow and I'm gonna start it from, we'll just do the current slide. And this is how it would be projected in my classroom. So when I'm going through this game, let's say my student selects topic three for 50 points. I can just go ahead and click the 50 button and it's gonna bring me directly to topic three for 50 points. So whatever your question is, you'll just write it over this and then you can click the over arrow on your keyboard and the answer will pop up. So you can check to see if the answer is correct. I did something else on this PowerPoint, and this is another really fun thing. This is what I use for a lot of my presentations. I like to create just little buttons or squares. This is from just the shapes and use that as a hyperlink little icon. So if I click this, I've hyperlinked all of those to get me back to this slide. Okay, that way I can get back really quickly and easily. You can see this option that I just um, selected has changed colors. That way you don't accidentally select the same question twice. Okay, so let me go back and show you how I did that. Go back to this third slide. Here is my button. I just used a shape when I did that. If you go up again to insert, you go to link, place in this document, slide two. Every time my students answer a question, I can immediately be redirected to this main screen. So I don't have to go shuffling and, and going to, through all of my different slides to try to find um, this screen again. Click OK. All right, so if you have any questions, please let me know. This free resource is available on yourclassroomhelper.com and thank you for watching.